Uh, we spoke with the chief uh, medical officer of the IDF a short time ago, and the numbers are quite astonishing. As of this moment, 81% of IDF soldiers, of all the, 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 the IDF personnel, are either vaccinated, and by vaccinated we mean received the second shot, the second dose, or recovered, either either one. And uh, by the end of the week, uh, two days from now, the aim is to reach 85%, a very high number. This comes uh, following 10 weeks of a very intense uh, campaign, mm -hmm. a, a vaccination campaign, in which soldiers have been vaccinated in more than 20 uh, specific uh, locations, outlets uh, around the country, which were set up exactly for that 10 weeks of very intense vaccination uh, progress, and that has been done. Uh, this, of course, is very important for uh, the, the, the normal functioning of uh, the army. As far as the IDF is concerned, any unit which is uh, up at least 90 percent uh, completely vaccinated, that unit will basically go back to normal, uh, act as normal, uh, train as normal. Uh, the, the entire unit will be uh, seen as a capsule and uh, it will not, uh, there, there will not be any need to uh, uh, basically uh, differentiate and, and, and separate, divide that unit it's into uh, specific... Remarkable. Like the yeah. rest of us, this has been an area so heavily affected by the coronavirus. The Army typically, uh, you know, obviously groups of soldiers in close proximity to each other, keeping social distance, as we've all been accustomed to do, has been near impossible in the IDF. And uh, this whole year has been characterized by outbreaks on bases, rolled back activities. So this solves a major soldiers issue. Soldiers that had to stay in base. Yeah. They could not right. come home for months and months because they had to stay in their capsule in the base. What was the point of having a capsule in the base if every week you go back home and, and each soldier coming back to the base after meeting people at home? Therefore, that is basically no longer in place wow. due to the very successful uh, uh, vaccination progress in, in uh, the IDF. A an interesting issue, all of the soldiers received the, the Pfizer vaccine, just like uh, uh, the entire population. All of them have been uh, uh, receiving the Pfizer uh, uh, dose. And the Army is, of course, insisting that uh, uh, during this entire year, of Corona year, uh, the Army's uh, uh, um, programs and trainings, they have not been interfered, but of course they have, because how can it, they not be interfered when you have to uh, take a, a, a unit, a, a combat unit, and divide them into capsules? Uh, now that is not, no longer necessary. The idea of basically claiming we're not, not, not only uh, of the Army with the highest percentage of uh, vaccination, it's the largest uh, organization in the world with such high numbers.